so satan is like that he can pass through your finances he can pass through your marriage he can pass through the life of your children he can pass through your spiritual life he can pass through your destiny he can pass through a church he can pass through a ministry he can pass through the life of a man of god you know it is him because something must be stolen something must seem to die something must seem to be destroyed someone shout no way shout it again say no way Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. This is very important. Now, listen very carefully. Why do we need the anointing? Let's answer the question why. This also tells you the the, there are two primary assignments of the anointing and i want you to understand this they may not be the only ones but according to my study of scripture and even in my experience and the experience of so many who have been given unusual access to the anointing we learn that the anointing is useful in the life of the believer for two principal reasons number one the anointing empowers the believer to subdue the forces of darkness that fight against our destinies and against the advancement of the kingdom. Why do we need the anointing? Number one, the anointing empowers the believer to subdue. The anointing empowers the believer to subdue the forces of darkness fighting against our destinies and against the advancement of the kingdom so the first assignment of the anointing is to provide empowerment to subdue the forces of darkness fighting against our destinies and the advancement of the kingdom is satan fighting your destiny and my destiny absolutely how long for as long as you will be alive are we together psalm 66 and verse 3 it has become an anthem in this ministry say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto you is god's servant bishop david Oedipo who would say that the only language satan understands is the language of power and he's right satan does not understand english does not understand french satan does not understand negotiation the only thing he understands is power ask egypt um, israel in egypt nine plagues and satan through pharaoh would not let them go but one last plague and it compelled him to let them go so the anointing addresses satan now it's very very important for you to understand this you see satan is spirit satan is not flesh it is not only god who is spirit alone satan is also spirit do you know what that means you cannot arrest him number two you can't take him to a court number three the military cannot help you fight him number four you cannot set him on fire all the things you do to men to find peace you cannot do with him satan is spirit the angels the fallen angels and all the demons and the cohorts of hell they are spirits even though their damage is not spiritual alone their damage starts from the realm of the spirit but it has a physical expression in your life when the devil plants sickness in your body it can start from a dream but it will not end at a dream it will manifest physically and you will see the injury you will see the pain when satan programs this favor upon a believer it can start from the realm of the spirit but you will shockingly see it manifest physically are we together so it takes the anointing to be able to subdue the forces of darkness let me tell you this do you know every time you stand before god's people please look up to make an altar call i want you to know that we are not the only ones who are seeing you angels are witnesses to that salvation that prayer D 
demons are also witnesses from the day you declare the lordship of jesus christ an intentional line has been drawn between you and satan for the rest of your life whether you are alive except you die but provided you are alive satan is interested in you apostle who did i offend that's not the issue when you were saying jesus i love you you are a potential threat to the kingdom of darkness satan does not give you a chance to grow before he attacks you he knows what the life of god is and he knows what you received even though you don't know it you may you may trivialize what you received but satan understands the implication of being saved in fact satan does not even wait for you to be saved the moment you are born if you just if you are born and you appear just with a spirit he won't really bother you because you don't have the legitimate ground to function on the earth but the moment you manifest with this material body you are already a potential threat that's why you read in the bible satan killed children he didn't even give them a chance to grow are we learning why do we need the anointing so that we can have that empowerment to subdue the forces of darkness fighting against our destinies and fighting against the advancement of the kingdom it was jesus that was speaking and he said right from the days of john the baptist he says the kingdom suffered violence and he said the violent will take it by force are we together the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness it is true when you leave satan unhindered he will kill everything he can kill he will steal everything he can steal he will destroy everything he can destroy john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy satan's tripartite signature the moment if you are unsure who is around verify it with these tripartite activities if satan comes he will never leave you the way he met you he must steal something if satan comes and passes you and you are alone except god helped you or intercession saved you or it's not him but if it is satan you know there are people called pick there are these boys that are experts in stealing they can lift their hands and still steal <laughs> praise god lift they can pass you with their hands lifted and yet something will still be missing and it's not diabolism how they and, Praise the name of the Lord. So Satan is like that. He can pass through your finances. He can pass through your marriage. He can pass through the life of your children. He can pass through your spiritual life. He can pass through your destiny. He can pass through a church. He can pass through a ministry. He can pass through the life of a man of God. You know it is him because something must be stolen. Something must seem to die something must seem to be destroyed someone shout no way shout it again say no way because for some of you before now you've not seen the necessity for the anointing and satan keeps camping you around that mindset and say are you an apostle no are you a prophet no are you not just a businessman don't mind them he's cheating you let me just advise you right now especially because of this end times the condition for being anointed is that you are alive the moment you are alive just know that satan will come to you if he has not come the messengers are on their way but through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves let me prophesy to someone that any force that has refused to let you go in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead he must give up on you finally please sit down hear me your business will not just grow uh -uh. your children will not just be responsible people the ministry will not just grow your political career will not just flourish there is a devil who is determined to make sure everything god in your life dies are we together it will tear your relationship between you and your wife tear your relationship between you and your children destroy your finances until he reduces you to ashes mess up your ministry until you become a testimony of pain and shame satan for you when he does it he will sign it 
like Julius Berger will build and write signed everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen what makes you believe satan will fold his arms and watch you promoted you think he does not know what your influence will do to the kingdom man of god what makes you believe that satan will sit down and allow you to continue to be a rising voice you think he does not know what your voice will do to your territory oh zechariah and elizabeth it's not about barrenness it's about john who will anoint jesus there are many battles today that many of you are fighting that has nothing to do with you it is because of something that will come out from you listen when you see satan fighting your family what is what is finance does he eat naira and cobble and dollars he knows that with that empowerment you will send your son to a mission school and in that mission school one day a prophet or apostle will visit that school he will have an encounter and he will find his purpose and become a mighty man of god so he will make sure that school fees never enters your hand help that woman please i can tell you firsthand every time you see the devil around your life he's not there to advise you he's not there to counsel you he's there to steal to kill and to destroy help that lady please listen can i be honest with you i have seen many demon spirits in my life i'm not telling you what i just read in scripture if you ever see men excelling in spite of satan something is keeping him you don't want listen to me for thousands of years of satan as a defeated foe he has still not given up on fighting god you have to understand the person you are dealing with you will think after the millions of years of his rebellion he should just give up one day satan is as determined today as he was when he left heaven what kind of a creature is that even some of the capons some of the armed robbers some of the terrorists they got to a point where they were broken like children have you ever seen satan repenting have you ever seen his picture on his knees saying god just punish me but i'm ready for peace we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.